Hello everyone, in this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to use FME Server to automate workflows from Survey123 to ArcGIS. So FME Server allows the user to process data in real time based on the events being triggered. For example, a Survey123 submission integrated with FME Server could update a business intelligence system and a database automatically. So instead of transferring data manually, FME Server can automatically transfer that data, saving you time and money. Firstly, this tutorial was created by Sienna Emery. So before we begin the tutorial, let's look at the final results. So we can fill some sample data in Survey123, and once I hit submit, an email will automatically be sent to me by FME Server. So this email contains custom HTML reports with the data from the survey. Using FME Server, we could easily send other formats as well as including an Excel spreadsheet or PDF. Okay, now let's get this set up. In Survey123, I can set up a webhook, and it's a way for one application to communicate with another application automatically. Here we can insert a webhook from FME Server. Now let's hop over to FME Server and find the webhook from Notification System, and then go to Topics. We can select a topic and find the post URL. This is the webhook we're gonna paste into Survey123. Make sure that you update the token in the webhook. We're gonna to test to see if the webhook works by going to the topic monitoring page on FME Server. When the survey is submitted, we should see that it's delivered to FME Server. Okay, great. The topic's been notified and we have the JSON that was sent. This JSON can be used to develop a workspace. I've already created a workspace and it creates an HTML report based on the JSON payload from the webhook. You can find this workspace on the FME Hub through this link. In FME Workbench, we can review the workspace I previously created. My workspace creates an HTML file which has to be saved on FME Server before it can be emailed. I've created a published parameter for the HTML file path. Using a published parameter allows me to run this workspace successfully on desktop and server. I can easily change the file path in either platform. Now I'm going to publish the workspace up to FME Server. In the FME Server web interface, we can find the Automations page. This is where we can set up the trigger for a topic to be notified. We've successfully made a trigger. So now we can set up the workspace by selecting the next action, selecting the new workspace, and filling out the parameters. The next action is going to be an external email. We can load the Gmail template and fill in the credentials. The email attachment will be the HTML created by the workspace. We're going to validate to confirm that it's been set up correctly. So everything's been completed and we should see that when we fill out a survey, a new email should be sent. So we were able to set an automatic email to be sent every time a survey was submitted. If you're interested in automating more workflows, you can actually visit this URL right here and you'll have all the resources to do so. Thanks for watching this tutorial and see you in the next one.